Hi everybody, in this uh, screen recording I want to talk about how to make sure that you um, are printing to black and white to the Xerox color copier and it also prints in black and white, so it does both. Uh, the reason for this is that I just had our first user reach their 400 color, co uh, color print limit, sorry, because if you're printing at the copy machine it's considered a print, and I have high confidence that user was um, inadvertently printing black and white jobs in color. And the reason this is so important is because it costs 10 times as much to print in color as it does to print in black and white. So if you print 5, 000, or 500 color jobs, that costs just as much as 5,000 black and white jobs, which is a full box of paper. So think of it as like one ream of paper, uh, in color cost as much as a full box of paper in black and white. So it's very important to only print what you need in color and uh, print everything else in black and white. So say I want to print this manual. Uh, of course I'm going to do file print and I'm going to go to my Xerox features and in this menu under Xerox black and white I can choose um, use document color and if I choose use document color it will print in color and that's the only time I do that but my default settings are black and white so as long as I print to black and white I'm preserving my color copies so again the menus right here under Xerox black and white if you want to print in color, you go to color there. If you want to print in black and white, print there. So make sure when you're uh, printing black and white that uh, you have this setting set to on for black and white, not color. Because even if it's a black and white job and you print it to use document color, it costs the same amount as it does for a color copy, even if it doesn't use any color toner. They still charge us that higher amount. Okay, so I hope this helps uh, clear things up. I'm going to go ahead and finish this print example. There's my counting ID. Click OK, and it'll go to the printer. So, again, it's very important to make sure you only print what you need in color, and that you under more. Most importantly, you understand how to make sure you're printing in color or black and white to the new copy machine. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.